Okay, so I got an email from Alex. Alex, I know that you're watching this, and it, basically he's asking me, uh, he's, he, he's a Korean man, and he, he, his taekwondo is his thing with the kicks and stuff. He was asking me how a Sansu would deal with kicks. And so, I, you know, I, I emailed him back a long thing, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who are wondering how Sansu does deal with kicks. And one thing, let me tell you one thing about Sansu. Uh, it, and not, like taekwondo, is they, their, their big thing is kicking. Uh, even though Sansu likes to keep their feet on the ground and let the hands do the work, Sansu has probably as many or more kicks as any kicking martial art does. We just choose not to use them so much. The Chinese like to keep both their feet on the ground and let the hands do the work. The problem with with kicking is this. Okay, I, I'm going to need Robert uh, out here again for this. And my answer to his question, this is real tough because I asked my teacher the same thing when I was a young belt. Well, what if the guy throws the kick? And he went, well, throw one. And I stepped in and he knocked me on my butt. I stepped in to kick him and he whacked me down. So what's happening is this. When, when Sansu moves, we like to step in and, and hit the guy. Okay, now the basic Sansu is to block, right, and then to step in and hit. And then you're going to block and hit, and then you're going to hit, right? So what happens is this. If he goes to throw a kick, what happens is for this kick, I just cut it off. See, I just stepped in and cut it off, and I hit the guy. And that, that's a tough concept to, uh, to grasp when you're a young belt. Because you're going, well, you're stepping right into the kick. But the deal is this. The power of, the, of a kick only has power when it reaches its full destination. Right? So if I can cut his kick off here, it's not going to have any power. So let's just do this. Turn sideways. I just, uh, other way. I just want you to throw a, a, a kick here. Right? Just, I'm not going to block it or anything. Just a kick. Just a straight off front kick. It's just a kick. Right here, this has the power to hit me right here. So when he goes to do that, I'm going to step into here, and basically I've just cut the kick off so that it, it will either, go ahead and kick me with this, it will either catch it in this point here, which has no power, as I strike him, or again, I'll just get inside and strike him with the move. Now, we do have kick blocks. Uh, I, I've studied Kung Fu since I was 21. I'm almost 65, and I probably have five kick blocks. Right, which is telling you something. We don't like to block kicks, right? Because here's a good reason why we don't like to block them. In a lot of martial arts, they've got a a kick like this. They're going to come up and fake a low kick, and when he goes to block it, so he goes to block this, then it comes up and kicks him into the head. So, and that's a great move if you if you're sucker enough to go for that block. So the point is this: if he's throwing a fake kick and I go for it, he's going to kick me in the face. If he's throwing a fake kick, and I'm throwing a real backhand, then he's going to be in trouble. Right? And that's, so for this particular thing, that's what we're going to do. He goes to fake that kick, bam, and I hit him from here. That ends his trip. He doesn't get to play anymore. I get to play. Right? So that's basically how we're going to deal with kicks. Now, we do have kicks. You know, there's, we can step there and block them, we can hook them, we can do whatever you want to do with them. But then you're playing a guessing game. And what's happening is this. Some, some people throw a punch, love to back up when they block this punch. Well, if, he, if I back up and block that punch and he throws a kick, he's going to catch me with it every time. Right? And so and taekwondo people like it out here. See this? If you get a taekwondo guy, he's going to want to be out here because you're in his element now. If I'm standing here, there's absolutely no way that he's going to be able to kick me. So my goal to fight against the kick is to be here throwing punches, and well, they're going to back up and to try to get you set for those kicks. So they back up, and then here comes that kick. So you got to watch them. And I'll tell you this, too. Don't think that these guys that have karate, uh, taekwondo and stuff, aren't any good. I'll tell you flat out, if one of those guys kicks you, you're going down. Because they're great at kicks, right? So you don't want to underestimate those Taekwondo guys or they will kick the crap right out of you. So the best advice that I got from my teacher, the best advice I've given you, is to step in and try to cut that kick off, right? Here's one other thing, some food for thought. I believe that Kung Fu Sansu is the best martial art in the world. But 
just because we're all studying Kung Fu San Su doesn't mean that we're the best in the world. Right? So I don't want you to get too cocky. Well, I've got the best, and it's the same thing with that knife thing that we were talking about last night. You know, the Chinese are fantastic knife fighters, but that doesn't mean that I'm a fantastic knife fighter. Right? Even though I've been trained with some knives, I don't want to fight a guy that, with a knife that's been trained only in knives. Right? So again, just because you have the best martial art, in my opinion, in the world, doesn't mean that you're the best at it in the world. So don't think that, well, I've got Kung Fu San Tzu, I'm going to go beat up everybody. You know, because that, that may not happen. Okay? Thanks. If you have any questions, email me. I'll try to cover them here in the school. Thanks very much.